Hey guys, welcome to the Beelow Club, and here we are for some Guild Wars 2 beta stuff. So many of you probably don't know this, but I am a huge uh, Guild Wars 2 nerd enthusiast, and I've been really looking forward to this beta event. I've been really wanting to do some videos as well, so what I thought I would do here is really walk everyone through, you know, everything from A to Z. You know, if you've never heard about Guild Wars 2 or seen anything about it, this is a good video to really, you know, brush up. And, and learn, because I've never really, I mean, I know about the game a little bit, but I've never played it before, so I think this is a good chance for all of us to, uh, you know, dive in together. So one of the first things we'll do here is I've already created a character, as you can see, a human uh, human ranger. Uh, his name is Govna. Uh, I was trying to make him look like Jason Statham, and, and I literally went through uh, every single name of a character that Jason Statham has had in every movie, Turkish, Handsome Rob, everything, and uh, they've all been taken, apparently, so I found that strangely bizarre considering it's the beta but maybe there's some kind of uh, uh, you know filter and check that blocks out popular culture pop culture names so you know let's create a new character and kind of walk through that um, it's important to note that I don't think I will go through every option but let's just um, go over it really quickly so the first thing you'll notice is uh, character select you got to choose your race there are five races in Guild Wars 2 there's the Norn who are kind of like these big Scandinavian human humanoids uh, I'd say they're humans I mean they you can't really tell here by the the skull and bones helmet but uh, they they are humans um, you have the humans which are you know the tried and true uh, you know race uh, can't really go wrong here and the char who were the bad guys in Guild Wars 1 if you played uh, I played Guild Wars 1 just a little bit so I'm not an expert but I do know that they were the bad guys and now this time they've joined the sides they've joined the humans and the rest of the the races uh, to fight the dragons. Uh, there are two other races which are not in this beta and we're not in the first beta. This is the Asura which are I guess kind of like your gnome you know cutesy little uh, you know fluffy race uh, and then you have the Silvari who are kind of like like a humanoid kind of elf so kind of like night elves if you really want to compare them to something. Um, it's really unfortunate that they're not in the beta because personally uh, these are I will probably end up playing one of these two races at launch uh, I don't know what the reason is either. I think that they're just probably just not polished enough or ready enough uh, to be in there. But I digress. Let us pick a race and create a character. So why don't we go with the char since they seem pretty interesting. So you pick your race. As you can see here, there's 10 steps. And what I will do is I will probably just lower the music of the game just a tad. Just to make sure you guys don't... Uh, make sure you guys can hear me. Next step, male, female. So again, really cool how the... See the kind of the other races fade out and this fades in. It's really stylized, really well done. I mean, the character creation alone is just, you know, it's just such a fun experience. So let's go with a male char because I always felt like the um, the female of any kind of big race like Torin or Char or what have you is, uh, is always funny looking. So here's your profession select. There are eight professions in the game. Elementalist, which is really a, you know, controller of the elements fire air water earth your typical mage type class you have the warrior which is you know ma master of weaponry martial skills uh can use a lot of offensive and defensive you know pretty much everything you'd expect a warrior to be in an mmo the guardian is this kind of um i think like a hybrid between i think the easiest comparison is to a paladin if you've played any mmo with a paladin in it uh, they use, you know, holy powers and virtues and loyalty and, and all that good stuff. But they have, you know, very defensive traits as well. Uh, they're a support class primarily, as you'd expect them to be. Uh, you know, really cool. I think one of the classes I'm most interested in playing when the game goes live. Um, so we also have the Engineer. So the Engineer is really something a little bit new. Not, not many MMOs have this type of a class. I mean, maybe not many, but not all of them. Uh, it really focused around using weapons and tools and, and turrets and, you know, really a variety of, of, of gadgetry and devices. So it really is fun to play as an engineer. It really is uh, definitely a unique experience. Um, I'm not sure how they play like, like what they what they feel like when you're playing with them, but uh, as I've never played with one, but uh, I've been told by a lot of people who've been playing the beta that it is definitely, if you're looking for something of a unique uh, spin on, you know, MMO classes, I think this is where you want to be. Next down the list is the Mesmer, which I'm hearing is one of the most popular classes in the game. It's really fun. Basically, the concept of a Mesmer is you're like a master of shadows and mirages and, 
and illusion. So what you're doing is every all your attacks create these illusions, and the illusions are kind of like copies of yourself, but uh, they're they're clearly you know visually identifiable as illusions. And what they do is they can be used to do certain abilities. They can uh, you can blow them up on your enemies to do damage. You can use them to get some mana back. You can also use them just to fool your opponents. So really really cool class if you're into that kind of thing. Thief, you know, is the rogue assassin uh, class in the game. Really adept. The, the stealth mechanic and the stealth visuals in this game, from what I've seen in videos and stuff, is really, really over the top and really stylized and very cool. Uh, these they Thieves look very deadly, and as you probably are used to a rogue or an assassin class, uh, very quick and swift. The Necromancer... Is the warlock, uh, necromancer, you know, lich kind of uh, uh, class, raising things from the dead, minions, you know, dark powers and what have you. Kind of, again, like the darker side of a mage, uh, but still very much a, a, a caster class. And finally, we have the ranger, who is the pet class, hunter, pet class, uh, you know, bow and arrow primarily. But again, in this game, uh, you can have uh, a wide range of weaponry and... Um, you know, have a pet. They start with a pet, and I think you can tame new pets. So really, really familiar. So I think if I had to, I'd have to, you know, talk about any of the classes. I feel like the Mesmer and the Engineer are really the two unique elements this game, whereas the Guardian, Warrior, Elementalist, Ranger, Necromancer, and Thief are things we've really seen before. But don't that, that doesn't mean that it still won't be a fresh experience because uh, the uh, the way Guild Wars 2 uh, mechanically takes on, you know, the way you get skills and the way you interact with the world and the way you learn is radically different than a lot of MMOs out there. So uh, please don't feel deterred. So why not for now, since we have a char, why don't we go for a char warrior, since that seems to be most, I don't know, I guess appropriate. And let's get to the next step. So really right here, you can choose to hide the armor or put the armor on. I prefer to hide it because I really want to see what my character looks like. Um... I guess in the nude, which is kind of creepy, but I mean, to be fair, I don't think you'll ever really see your character completely naked like this, but I think you get a better idea of what their body type is like, whereas with armor, it, it's, it gets a little harder to see. So first we choose height. Uh, what's really cool is that the slider is limited, so you can't make a dwarf-sized char or a, or a giant-sized Asura. Really, they want you to stick to what the, the, the range of height and weight are. So here we are, as you can see, minimum height and maximum height. Let's go with the maximum since we want to be a towering uh, monstrosity here. Uh, a physique. So you have some presets. So you can kind of be a little tubby. This guy's a little chubby. Really skinny. Uh, these two are very skinny. And this, and in between, everything in between. So I, I think I kind of like just the, the generic regular guy. Why not? You know what? Let's have some fun. Let's go with a slightly tubby guy. And fur... Again, uh, you can pick some presets, or you can customize yourself. So there really are some cool choices. So let's see here. Oh, you can do both actually. Well, what's? I don't see much changing here, so it's kind of funny. Maybe they're not all in the game. Is it on the back that it changes? Uh, I think. I mean, I can't really tell what's changing to be fair here. But let's just pick some colors. So let's go with a. I like kind of like the gray fur. I think that looks really cool. With some white patches, maybe. And go with a lighter. I like that. Okay, let's go with that. Head options. I mean, you can really do all kinds of stuff here. I, I don't want to waste too much time showing you this, guys. But, you know, let's, let's go with a mohawk. You pick your face. You can pick your horns. I mean, this is all stuff you've come to expect. But really, there is a cool level, of, uh, a cool amount of uh, detail. When you get to the face, this is where you can really start having fun with some people who like these sliders. I gotta admit, I'm not a slider fan. I think there's there's just... I always just find that the middle point looks the best. I find anything that's, you know, to the right or to the left always ends up looking like a caricature. So I always end up sticking with the, uh, the generic. Uh, you can choose your muzzle and your nose. You can customize your ears. And then finally, your armor dies. So this is with your armor. You can choose how you look. Let's make our guy look kind of cool with purple. Uh, and here. So that kind of looks silly. Let's, uh, why don't we go with this? I don't know why the headpiece isn't changing. Oh, here you go. Lower, headgear. So you can kind of, you know, as you can see, you can kind of go with the whole thing. Even the footwear, we can zoom in, zoom out, how, whatever. So then once you're done with that, 
you are asked some questions. So the whole point of this game, well, one of the big things behind the storyline is this your story, telling your story. So when you create your character, you're asked some questions, and you have to answer these questions. And depending on the way you answer the questions, different NPCs in the game will interact with you differently, and your storyline will, uh, you know, will be sort of crafted or catered to your choices. So here they ask you, I wear a Sprang Helm, Spragen Helm, a Cap Helm, or no Helm at all in the battlefield. Because of this, I'm recognized and given proper respect. Let's go with, the, let's go with no Helm at all. I feel like these guys are pretty badass with their horns and stuff. Uh, trouble may follow me, but I use my Charm, Dignity, or Ferocity to overcome it. Let's go with Ferocity, just to you know, be consistent. I am proud to be a Blood Legion soldier, an Ash Legion soldier, or a Iron Legion. I was going to say a Gear like Gears of War. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I don't know what these mean. If you read down here, it gives you a little more context. So, Blood Legion, straight to battle, pushes to the front of the line in combat, powerful and bold. Whereas, let's say, Iron Legion is, you know, March to the Boom of War Machines, uh, Industrial Revolution. So, it's not just picking an, a logo, there is some context to it. So, let's just go with Iron Legion. Uh, every class has a, like, a deity or a, um, like a god that you have to believe in, and each one has different virtues and different characteristics. So uh, I don't want to bore you with reading them all, but let's just quickly pick one here. Maverick. They tell me the story that stirred me is that stirred me. Sorry, is the loyal soldier, the sorceress shaman, or the honorless gladium? I'm not sure what a gladium is. Uh, let's let's just go with the whatever the gladium. The gladium is no war band. My father turned his back on his. On his now he's an honorless gladium with no respect for the chain of command and I have no respect for him so basically this means you're an asshole and then here you go so here it kind of recaps all the choices you've made so through my through my trouble though my trouble may follow me I overcome it with ferocity I'm a soldier of the Iron Legion and my warband is my family I would die for them especially Maverick my sparing partner my sparring partner they tell me my sire is an honorless gladium I have no respect for him and I refuse to live in his shadow I'm a warrior and I wear no helm on the battlefield. Because of this, my enemies falter when they see me. When they see the fearless determination in my eyes. Signed, let's call him War Machine. And, you know, you get all your you get all your confirmation box that your name's okay. But, the name's already in use. So, let's just call him Snugglesworth. There you go. So, once you select your character... It kind of forces you to log in, at which point you get a really badass cinematic. Now I don't want to spoil this stuff. If you want to watch this on your own, uh, if you want to, if you're like anything like me and you don't really want to get into the story too much during the beta because you want to kind of save it for when you're playing the real game, I will skip this. But um, you know, if, if you want to take a look at these. A lot of other people out there have posted these online already, so they're not too difficult to find. Uh, if you can't find them, you can always message me and I can try to help you out. But I don't want to spend too much time looking over these cutscenes. They're, they're, they're fairly generic, uh, and they really just start. They really just serve to build the, the build up the you know the whole your story aspect. So let, let's just skip here. Um, so this is a loading screen. This little ball here is loading, and. I'm on Fraps here, guys, so um, I've not played this game yet. I don't know. I put the settings pretty high. My computer is decent. If for some reason the video is lagging, it may just I may just cut out and change the settings. All right, so here we are. So for the sake of this video, uh, I do not want to play as the Char. I actually want to show you the human character. So we'll select him here from our thing. World selectors, where you choose your server. What server am I on? I'm on a Divinity's Coast. And these account medals are... I'm not sure. Oh, these are things that I guess you do in-game, your achievement points and whatnot. So let's let's play my human. His name is Govna, Human Ranger. And let's get in there. <laughs> 